Hi guys, it's Dr. Jill, and today I'm talking to you about progesterone. It's a really important hormone for women, and the question I get asked all the time is, should I take it in a cream or a pill? And it really depends on the person and the story, but overall, my answer is a pill form. A lot of women will go to Trader Joe's and pick up the yam cream and put it on themselves and they'll feel better for a little bit and then they'll stop using it and then they end up at the doctor's office finally and they may get put on a cream, may not. Um, but the really important thing to know is it just depends on where you're at with your cycle. If you are premenopausal, perimenopausal, postmenopausal. If you are premenopausal, then you can take progesterone to help you with sleep, with anxiety, um, with any bloating. It also helps with PMS. So PMS is a loss of progesterone during the cycle. So you end up getting too much estrogen. You can get in the PMS uh, phase of it. You can get anger attacks. You can get irritability. You can get anxiety. And what most physicians will treat this with is birth control, which is a combination of estrogen and progesterone. When the really the only thing that you need is progesterone. So for women who have really bad PMS, they either usually are given a birth control or vitamin P, Prozac, and antidepressant. And the true treatment can be progesterone. The pill form is more effective at helping with these symptoms, with the anxiety, with the sleep, with irritability, with bloating, and progesterone actually reduces your risk for breast cancer. There's studies that show that micronized progesterone, which means bioidentical progesterone, is more effective with helping with mood than the synthetic Provera that used to be used. So this is something to consider as well. As far as cream versus pill when you get a little bit older, this also depends on if you have a uterus or not. A lot of women are told that once they hit menopause and if they don't have a uterus, that they no longer need progesterone. This is false. Progesterone, as I said, helps with anxiety. It helps with sleep. It also helps reduce your risk for breast cancer. So we need progesterone all the time, not just when we're having our period. So if you have had a hysterectomy, progesterone is still an option for you and a necessary option to feel your best and function your best. Whether you have it in a pill versus cream form, again, I vote for pill because it does absorb systemically a lot better. For people that are truly not great with pills and they prefer to use a cream, if you are postmenopausal and do not have a uterus, you can use the cream form. However, this is really important. If you are postmenopausal or menopausal and you still have a uterus and you, and you are on estrogen, you must be on a progesterone pill. The cream does not get you to adequate serum levels to actually offer the most protection against overgrowth of the inside lining of your uterus that can cause cancer. So it's so important to know this and a lot of doctors will still give a cream when you have an intact uterus and you are not getting adequate levels to protect yourself. So not only does the pill form give you better absorption for your symptoms, but we're actually reducing your risk for getting this endometrial cancer and breast cancer. So my overarching answer for progesterone cream versus pill is pill, and it's micronized and bioidentical. So it's exactly like the body makes. There are no increased risk of getting cancer. Again, I wanna reiterate, progesterone reduces your risk for breast cancer and for endometrial cancer. So I hope this clears up some of the questions that I've been getting about progesterone. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to DM me or click the link in the bio to learn more. And have a great day.